This video demonstrates Timora Pro's new backtesting feature, available to all our Platinum users. Backtesting is a double-edged sword because it can be misleading since it's so difficult to simulate all the conditions present with real-time trading. The new Timora Pro backtester seeks to minimize a number of these issues and empowers you to simulate trading and strategy testing over the entire market with down-to-the-second accuracy. You can even make adjustments along the way, as you might during a live trading day, using the same Timora Pro trading environment already familiar to you. So let's get started with a short example. To start Timora Pro's backtester, you can either use the desktop shortcut or the backtester button from the help window over here. Once we see the Timora Pro strategy backtester window, we just have to pick a date or a date range and then hit start. The dates in blue showing a size next to them are available for an automatic download. Since we're downloading the entire market for that day, the complete download size with full charting will be around 110 megabytes, which is still probably not much bigger than the size of this video. In this case, we already have all the data downloaded, so I'm just going to change to a directory using the directory box that has access to all that data, and you'll see how all of these dates would now turn to green, indicating that the data is available, ready, we don't have to download it again. Let's just make sure we understand a few other options here. We're showing full. The options are off, RGV, or full. What that means is that in off mode, we'll have no charting information, no charting data whatsoever. In RGV mode, what that means is that we'll have charting data going forward. It'll the back test will create the data, but if you need like historical bars for remote global variables, which is what RGV stands for, um, you know, you won't have all of that. So if you're just looking for remote global variables, you're only interested in maybe the last 10, 20, one minute bars that generally uh, fills in pretty quickly. But if you're looking for five minute, 15 minute larger bars, then you'll probably want to set it to full where you'll have the complete charting data with hundreds of bars for every time frame available to you for access, whether it's just you know, for your research or for your strategies. Um, that's also going to be a larger download, uh, which brings up the total to say around 110 megabytes, give or take, per day. The other option here that we have is day, all FX or day. If you have all, it's basically including all assets from you know, midnight to midnight, uh, FX, stocks, everything. If you're only working on foreign exchange strategies, FX strategies, you could set that to FX and it'll go a bit faster because it doesn't have to process all the stock data and such, which is much more intensive. On the other hand, if you're focusing on stocks and you don't need the overnight sessions, you can set this to day, which will ignore the pre and post market sessions after 8 p.m. before 8 a.m. Uh, so that you don't have to sort of sit through that if, uh, if you don't need the information. For this demo, since we're, to, we're gonna demonstrate a stock strategy, we're just going to use the day session. Audio just enables or disables the uh, audio features. If you, uh, once we start the back test, and of course you have the pause button, but if you right click over either of these buttons, you can also adjust the speed of your back test. And uh, the last option here is strategy daily reset. If we pick several days for our back test, and we're testing a strategy, as soon as that day rolls over, it'll just automatically reset the strategy. Let's just hit start. And now you start seeing all the windows popping up. Now I'll just walk through, let's move this. It's still loading. If we see here, we are queuing the actual back test data. And we were also queuing the chart view data, which is now complete. And let's hit pause quickly because it's moving fast. Um, it started at 8 a.m. You see in 25 seconds, we're already at 8.34. Uh, and so this is showing the time elapsed and also the percent uh, of the day that's been completed so far. And we also now see uh, this R button. That's basically just resets the back tester uh, to right before we hit start. I'm just going to quickly walk you through the strategy I'm going to demo for you here. Let's just run a little bit more data and then we're going to put it at 1x 
Okay, so now we're at one a, uh, 9 a.m. now, running at 1x on the back tester. So now you see the time elapsed, 11, 12, 13, 14, is almost uh, perfectly in sync with the 9 a.m. time that we see here for the back test. Let's look at our uh, strategy here. This is just a demonstration of a, of a, a mean reversion strategy. The way it works, let's look at our view. We have a bunch of stocks here in this uh, mean rev tab, multi-view tab. Some of the data is still coming in there, but uh, you see we have all these symbols loaded in, and these are going to be part of our back test. We'll have 25 maximum positions at a time with a maximum value at risk of a million dollars. The triggers here, for the long side, we're going to scan all the stocks that you saw in that mean rev watch view for three one-minute bars to close below the one-minute Bollinger Band. For the sell side, it's same thing but just reversed. We'll then buy at the bid if the asset's trading at least 10 ticks above the open. We'll also be using a scale, buying slightly larger positions each 10% of the average day's range lower. Also, as we see over here, we're going to size by val equals 10,000, which means our position size will be based on a fixed $10,000 of risk per lot. And when you see something in italics like you do here, that just means that it's been commented out, that uh, condition or term's been commented out with a semicolon in front. We also have uh, flatten by close. Flat by close equals 60. Just going to flatten all the positions within 60 seconds of the close. So let's just uh, get started. I'm going to uh, start our strategy again. I'm going to put it back to full speed. And you'll see again look how quickly that's going. We just jumped through a half hour. Now we're right at the market open, 9.30. I'm going to hit start strategy on our strategy. Started. And let's watch some of the fun. In the meantime, let's take a look at a few other things. Let's uh, here, take a look at Boeing. We'll look at uh, depth view. So we're getting a lot of the information that we would normally see during the day. We can actually see it here for all the different features. So here we have Boeing. Let's take a look at Boeing on a chart. BA, you see Boeing, you see all your charting data because we did full, so you have all the history. Let's go back. You see that for each time frame. We also see that we, are, we just got a uh, hit on our strategy. Let's take a look at our action log. We can separate the action log out here. So if we want to watch the action log at the same time as trade and manage, you, we can do it that way too by separating that out. So here we have BBY. Let's take a look at what's going on here. BBY on the chart. So you see all the charting data, all the trading data for the entire markets available here. If we wanted to pull up uh, euro dollar right now, we can do euro that too. Dollar. There you go. There's what's going on in the euro. Let's see what's going on in the S&P. So you have the whole market here. And right now we're at uh, 9.36 on the day. Let's go back and take a look at the uh, one minute and see how our strategy position is doing. So here we see what's going on. This is where we bought. We have a target up here. We can even make adjustments here. Let's say we want to make the target a little bit lower. I just dropped the target by two cents. We should see on our action log, there we go. External adjustment target long, BBY. Um, actually, it was three ticks I lowered it. And you see it, of course, here as well since it's the same window. And you also have the console, which is a full read eval print loop for programmers out there. Basically, you can see the internals of all the variables, uh, all the information for the strategy. See, here we go. Uh, all the different uh, items of data that you can request. You know, it can show rules for the strategy. See, now here are all the rules that uh, we're using inside the strategy. Uh, let's say we want to see uh, you know, a particular variable. So there, you see the value for BBY. In fact, we can even pick Boeing if you want. Let's see what Boeing, it's got to retrieve the variable. There we go. So now we have a 
one minute Bollinger band with a 1.5 standard deviation for Boeing. If we click over here, so far we still only have one position, but uh, let's look at BBY. Let's see if I control double click here, I'll see all the variables. So these are all variables we have. We can actually see this from the console as well. But um, see here are all the remote global variables that we're accessing. Uh, since we were looking at the chart, we actually have the chart variables here, just like back testing mode. You have all the normal trends and the other variables, same as you would in a normal trend. Let's see. Okay, we just got a few other hits. Now we have at Mel. So let's take a look and see what some of these other positions are doing now. Suddenly we're getting a lot of hits. So I guess the market just moved a bit. We're now in 1,800 shares in Alcoa. So you see, in fact, it's so easy to confuse the full real-time Timora with this. We actually put a BT on every window because you can also run them side by side. You can run the back tester uh, just in the background while you have a live Timora Pro running. So that's why we also labeled all of these windows with BT data view, BT high low, just to make sure that you are aware, you know, that you are running in the uh, the back tester because uh, it really is so similar uh, that you might actually miss it. And we don't want you to do your you know, live trading off of the wrong uh, historical you know, back testing chart by accident. And you know you can, like I showed you, make adjustments. You, you could even interject, let's say you wanted to uh, you know, close out 100 shares of your Atmel. Okay, so we just sold 100 shares of the Atmel. And look at that external, see it's kind of fast, but external reduced at mail, so we sold 100 shares. See, so the strategy automatically adjusts for whether I am adjusting a stop or a target or the position, you know, I can come in, same thing, I can flatten, a, you know, let's say I want to flat a part of that position. Um, anything that you can do with Live Time or a Pro, pretty much uh, you're able to do in the back testing, of course, except the, uh, you know, live trading. We can uh, sort by open PNL. You know, just click on the headers that you want. Uh, let's say we want to sort just by symbol, quantity, status. You only want to show the uh, open positions. We click hide flat. Let's look at our position log and we see how our performance has been so far. So here we see our drawdowns. We can actually see our val uh, value at risk, uh, including the number of positions we've had over time. On the long side, the short side, the total positions. You have all the information here that we need. And here we see uh, how the positions were scaling. You see this? We bought 1,100 shares at 856, another uh, 2,200 shares at 854. And then we sold everything here for a $29 P&L, but after our fees, we have actually a net profit of only about $4. So it's even considering the commissions. If you get much better commission rates, if you're trading through a, a proprietary trading firm, these fees might be much, much lower, and uh, all that uh, difference can actually end up um, adding to your bottom line and P&L again especially if you're uh, doing a lot more trading. Let's go back and see how we're doing here in the strategy. So right now, well, we've been stopping and starting, but in 30 minutes we've uh, gone through about half the trading day. We're at noon right now. We're done 43% of the, uh, the day so far. And uh, so far the strategy uh, is about even. But I think it gives you a good overview of uh, the capabilities of what you can do. You see you have everything uh, running just as if it were live trading. You pull up any of these stocks. Here we have your uh, depth view for Atmel. Let's pull up another chart. Let's look at Atmel here. So you have all the data just like you would in Timora. 